is set up is uh, spread out from the triangle to the sand hills guiding you out the door and we begin with our state's largest school district wake county anna rivera's at apex friendship elementary school Ready or not, 115,000 students are returning back to Wake County classrooms today. Today's the big day and everyone is very excited. Some students are even getting to come back to these amazing spaces, brand new schools. So we want to show you everything you need to know before you send the kids back to school today. Apex Friendship is one of two brand new elementary schools opening this year. Barton's Pond Elementary is the other, and this is the first year students are specifically assigned to the school and it's not used as a swing space. So that brings the total number of Wake County schools up to 198. There are nearly 11,000 teachers and more than 20,000 employees. And make sure you're careful today, of course, because there are 584 yellow school buses operating this year. So that's 52 fewer routes than last year. Now, we did speak with Superintendent Kathy Moore, who said there are many challenges that they will be facing this year, especially when it comes to staffing, both in the classroom, when it comes to teachers, and also when it comes to those bus drivers. They say they will be hiring throughout the year to make sure that they can fill those those spots and make sure that your students feel comfortable when they come to school every single day. Another challenge that we've been dealing with with what seems like years is COVID. And of course, masks are not required in the classroom right now, but they are strongly encouraged. So just keep that in mind based on your comfortability level and also, of course, your child's comfortability level as well. Uh, just one thing, another reminder for parents to keep in mind when they send their kids back to the classroom. Back to you guys. All right, Anna, thank you. As you heard Anna say, school bus safety, a top focus in Wake County. These students you see behind me are from Carpenter Elementary. They demonstrated the correct and safe way to board their bus. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, the greatest risk for children is approaching or leaving a school bus. Experts say when the school bus arrives, children should wait until the bus comes to a complete stop. The door opens and the driver says it's okay before they approach the bus door.